Tom Beauregard is Executive Vice President from United Health Group in charge of healthcare reform and modernization. And you thought you had a hard job. So please join me in welcoming Tom Beauregard. Hey, Tom. Sure. Thanks. Thanks for being with us. Sure. To, to start out this session, um, a note of concern. Okay. I think you're at the wrong convention, my <laughs> friend. This is, this is the cable show. This is, we just talk about qualm modulation, it, and we use the word multi-platform a lot. It is a little overwhelming for a healthcare actuary who just bought his first smartphone. So it's so, uh, <laughs> But here you are nonetheless. So give us a sense of what's going on with United Healthcare that has anything to do with cable. Yeah, what we're doing, and I think um, this is important. We're doing this um, pilot with Comcast, or a clinical trial. And what we're trying to focus on is how we can disseminate evidence-based medicine through cable. Um, so as an organization, you know, we've been very focused on sort of the epidemic that is type 2 diabetes. And that starts with uh, childhood obesity, which is you know, in the news every day now, adult obesity, uh, pre-diabetes, and then ultimately type 2 diabetes. It's a, it's a terrible clinical chain. Diabetes as a disease takes 10 to 15 years off of individuals' lives. Um, with all kinds of horrible health consequences and financial consequences, frankly. So we've been focused on this for quite some time. And um, we started, one of the things that we started to focus on was how to prevent the disease. There's a, a whole series of trials called the Diabetes Prevention Program, which is a lifestyle intervention. It's a 16-session lifestyle intervention for individuals who are pre-diabetic. And the numbers on this are stunning. There are about 25% of adults in this country are pre-diabetic. Um, about 12 to 13 percent are diabetic. So you're, you're getting towards 40 percent of adults in this country who are either pre-diabetic or diabetic. By 2020, it's going to be over half. Um, so what we've tried to do is disseminate this intervention with a partner in the Y, a bricks and mortar model. And that's worked really well. We've scaled that, and I won't get into the details, but we have a national program, bricks and mortar with the Y. But that's not going to reach the 80 million individuals in this country that are pre-diabetic. It'll reach a portion of them. So working with Comcast and specifically Mark Koblitz, we created a, a clinical trial. And the, and the focus here was to say, can we bring this to people in their home where they are? Um, and so what we did is created a, uh, a series of public service announcements um, to raise awareness because 90% of people that have pre-diabetes don't get diagnosed until they've crossed the line into a diabetic state. And once you have it, there's no going back. It's medication management. But if you can lose 5 to 7% of your body weight, then you reduce the risk of converting to full-blown diabetes by about 60%. So it's, it's not easy, but the trials prove that if you lose 5 to 7%, you reduce the risk by 60%. So we created a reality TV program that replicates the diabetes prevention program, what we're delivering with the Y as our bricks and mortars partner. Um, and our experiment here is to say, will people participate from home? And so before I go into any sort of details on, on what we're seeing in this program, let's just, um, let me give you a real flavor for this with a video. I let this happen by the way I'm eating, by the way I'm not exercising. I always take the elevator. The lowest point of my, like, being overweight happened when I was about 15. In America today, nearly 26 million people have diabetes. I'm a typical guy as far as how I eat. If I had a vice, it would be soda. I really don't know how many I drink a day. I love to eat ice cream. I could eat a half a gallon and probably not blink. This epidemic has become one of the leading causes of death and disability in our country and costs us more than $174 billion a year. I'm at risk for type 2 diabetes because not only of my weight, but it runs in my family. Now, nearly one in three Americans are at risk for developing this disease. Some of my vitals are good for being, you know, overweight. But then some of them are like, yo, you need to change something soon. <laughs> because if I just let things go, I will get type 2 diabetes, and then it will be too late. But that can change. Come on in. Six people have decided to take action. And if you're at risk, you can join them. 
We're going to work with you to help reduce your risk for type 2 diabetes by helping you guys discover healthy ways of eating and increase your physical activity every week. For the next 16 weeks, you can participate in the National Diabetes Prevention Program. These are just everyday things that you can, you know, gradually start to incorporate into your life. A lifestyle intervention that is proven to help people lose weight and reduce the risk for type 2 diabetes. All we're doing right now is just tracking down what we're eating. So it also helps hold you accountable so you can make better choices than maybe we normally would. And once you build that awareness, the rest of it really falls into place easily. This series will empower you with the tools and knowledge to change your life right in the comfort of your own home. If I stick to exactly what our coaches said, then I'm going to see results. So that's what I'm counting on. Each week is a new challenge. Do you know how much fat is in that hot dog? You'll be guided by two dedicated coaches. We all have the same issues that we go through on a daily basis as far as the way we live our lives, the way we look at physical activity, and the way we look at eating. But the most important thing is that we're all in it together and we're supporting each other. And you'll receive helpful tips from a variety of experts. So this is a moving meditation. Yeah. It'll help keep your energy channels open. We're going to want to look for a shoe that's going to have nice support to the inside and really help hold that foot in line. This is your opportunity to take action by joining these six people to stop this deadly disease in its tracks. We're all here for a really important reason. The goal to lose 7% of your body weight over 16 weeks. Just make those small, minute changes that can really affect our lives. I got my head on straight and I'm in an awesome zone right now. The hope, a lifetime of freedom from type two diabetes. It's not just a diet. It's a complete lifestyle and paradigm shift of thinking. Good job. Well, I love the way I feel and my positive outlook. Enroll today in Project Not Me, the Diabetes Prevention Program. Call 1-877-304-1725 or register at projectnotmedp.com. This research study is limited to the first 320 qualified adults. So just, just some quick outcomes. We're early on this. We've got about uh, eight episodes out on demand right now. but. What we saw, because remember what we're trying to do here is um, trying to figure out if we can uh, disseminate an evidence-based medical program for a target population via cable. And what we saw was that we filled this trial um, in less than a month, which is unheard of when you, when you start thinking about clinical trials. We have very, very high participation. So for the people that are in the trial, they're watching the shows um, at their leisure, and that's the beauty of On Demand. Um, they're getting on the Bluetooth scales that are in their homes. Um, they're watching the episodes an average of 1.4 times, which tells us that they're engaged. They're, they're they, you know, somehow vested with the characters in this show, but they're also, they're going back for content, they're entertained by it. And most importantly, we've got over 3% weight loss about halfway through, which tracks with the bricks and mortar model. So early results are very, very encouraging, and I would say the, uh, the opportunity here is fabulous as we think about other ways to disseminate these types of models. I think, you know, Tom, I'm so interested by your choice of medium because I, I think the, the knee jerk is to say, let's put this program out on YouTube yeah. and put a link to it on our website and let people go to town. Yeah, and I think a lot of that is, it's, um, that's the, the power of cable is bringing this to individuals, you know, where they are. Um, if you think about sort of the demographics of this population, the pre-diabetic population, they're um, over 40. Um, they're individuals that are on that clinical chain that, that go from you know, adult obesity to prediabetes to diabetes. So a lot of this is just, um, it's, it's targeting the, the audience. And you know, again, within the, within the trial, it appears to be working. Literally where they live, right? Where they live, bring it to them where they live. The, from the clip, it, the production values are very television, right? Yes. So was that important to you guys? Well, and I think so. I mean, it, we're in the health insurance industry. We have a hard time engaging people. I mean, that, that's, and, and I think one of the things that this brings, in addition to the content, which I didn't mention, but the CDC is also a partner in this. They actually certified the content. Um, a big part of this is entertainment. We've, we've got to engage people in healthcare in ways that go beyond sort of fear and, and clinical messages. And I think a lot of this is just drawing people in. They relate to the characters. What's next based on the results you've seen thus far? I mean, we have to obviously monitor um, the, the rest of the trial. We have to make sure that we continue to get the participation, we continue to get the weight loss. With that will come a return on investment. And with that return on investment, we scale. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's, uh, it's a big problem. It's cool what you're doing. It's cool that there's a, a role for it within it for the cable industry. So. Yeah, we're excited. I think it's a, uh, it's a fabulous partnership with just incredible opportunities that frankly, it goes beyond prediabetes. There are all kinds of lifestyle interventions, evidence-based, that can be brought forward um, in this kind of a channel. Thanks for sharing it with us. Thanks, Appreciate Tom. your time. Take care. Thanks, Tom.